Have you ever wanted to modify a file associated with your project or solution that wasn't in Visual Studio? For instance, directly modifying a Docker file, a gitignore file, or other files in your folder structure. One way to do this would be to show all files, but that gets messy. That is why Microsoft is testing out a potential new feature of Visual Studio. Right now, you can download an extension for Visual Studio that will give you a direct access to the files in your folder structure without them needing to be part of your solution. So let's look at how to do this in Visual Studio and what might become part of Visual Studio itself. Now, for most of my training, I work to give you an in-depth perspective on technology, but sometimes you just need to get the quick answer to the question, how do I do this? That's why I created this 10 minute training series. So let's dive right into Visual Studio. And here I have a project open. This is actually part of the Postman clone app course. And this is in source control. So we have here some, some modified files. We can tell that it's part of Git, but how do I get to the Git ignore file? Or how do I get to the Git attributes file or other files? Maybe the bin directory or the OBJ directory. Well, you can come here to this icon right here, which says show all files and click that. Well, now you've got all files and you can kind of open up and you can see more files, but notice that that's just per solution or per project because now I can come down here and I can't see these. I have to actually come down here and click the show all files for there too, and then come back here and, and turn off the files. And I can come up here and say, show all files. That doesn't really work because it's not showing me any files here for the solution level. So I could come over here to this switch between solutions and available views and go to folder view, which would allow me to see that I have Git ignore and Git attributes available, but then I'm not in my solution and project uh, view, which means I can't do most of the things I'm used to. So I don't like that. So I'm gonna switch back to my solution view. So what's the solution? Well, there's a new extension, go to manage extensions, and we look up file explorer. And this is the new extension manager, by the way, um, but file explorer by Mads Christensen. Um, what is happening here is he's testing out some ideas. And he said, hey, what if we did this? Or what if we did that? And he creates extensions first to see how people like it. So for example, there's 45 star reviews. People seem to like it. And right now there's 3000 downloads. Hopefully after you watch this video, there'll be a few more because this is a pretty awesome extension. It adds the ability to have a explorer view in your solution view, which allows you to modify these other files. So let's install this, which we scheduled to install once I close Visual Studio. It, through the magic of editing, I'm going to pause this. I'm gonna install that and come right back to show you what it's gonna look like. And we're back. And now I have this new entry in my solution. Notice it says Postman clone app. It's a folder like thing that's above all of my project or the same level as all my projects. So this is your file explorer view. So if you expand this, you'll notice that there's a bunch of files in here that match up with our solution, our get ignore, our get attributes, our readme and more. So we can actually modify these files and click on readme. I can make changes to my readme right in Visual Studio without having to give up my normal structure of my projects in my solution. So this kind of mixes those two uh, modes, but also makes it a whole lot easier and better. Notice I can right click on a file and say open in VS Code or open in File Explorer or open in default program or rename. I can copy a full path. I can get to these other files and and work with them in a way that I couldn't otherwise do in Visual Studio. So maybe there's a get ignore change I need to make. Well, it's right here, boom, done. And when you're done, you can even just keep this minimized and then it just sits up top here and uses one line of, of space in your solution until you need it. But when you need it, you can come in here and look at the screenshots and go, oh, I wanna change that. Um, I wanna change the, the get attributes file and make some changes there. And this allows you to do that in a way that is, is useful, is, um, is quick and easy 
while at the same time not disrupting your normal flow for Visual Studio. You don't have to change modes. You don't have to show a whole bunch of files you don't want to see, um, but yet you can get access to all of the files that are in here, not just the ones that are, are normally displayed in the solution view of the Solution Explorer. So this is a new extension. Try it out. It So far for me, I have not found any problems with it or or other issues where I'm like, oh, I wish it did that, um, or it you know it doesn't work quite right here. I haven't found those yet. I'm still playing around with it, and I've only had it installed for a little while because I've installed it, played with it on my laptop, but then didn't have it installed on my work computer because of, of videos. I'll leave it installed now. So with that, that's the new uh, extension. Now, why is it an extension? And this is because what Microsoft is doing is they say, you know what, we want to change Visual Studio to make it better, to make it more user friendly, to make it work more like you want it to work. However, we don't necessarily know what you want. And so, yes, you can hear from vocal people who are like, I want this. I would use this every day. This is awesome. And then find out that's the only person that would do that. So instead, what they do is they're now creating extensions for some things and say, hey, let's test it and see if people actually want to use it. So you downloading it, you upvoting it, you interacting with it will help make it come about if you think it's valuable. But also this is the opportunity for you to say, you know what, I think that there should be, you know, some drag and drop capability that it doesn't have, or maybe there should be a right click and say, add to, uh, to Visual Studio or add to a solution or something like that on the files. Maybe that would be something that would be helpful. Well, you can suggest those things because what they want to do is not just test to see if it's popular, but also how best to implement it so that they can do it right the first time because they're actually practicing before they do it for real. And the practice is the extension. So get, check it out, try it, make sure you find any bugs that you, and report any bugs you see, but also give them feedback. Tell them if this is useful or not. Tell them if you want to see this in Visual Studio. I think personally, this is a pretty great extension that does solve a problem I have. Not a problem I have often, but a problem I have. Really the most useful thing is this readme right here. Just be able to modify that readme, super helpful. Um, this is why I love VS Code because VS Code just gives you the file structure view and they kind of tacked onto it the working with projects and solutions, but really we work with the file view a lot. And so you can modify the things like the SLN file or the, the markdown file for the readme or get ignore right in line. So this is getting closer to that. They cannot just break Visual Studio. They can't just say, hey, Visual Studio is now VS Code but they can make changes to bring some of the benefits of VS Code into Visual Studio or some uh, ideas and kind of reimagine them for this new environment or this uh, old environment, I guess, is a better way to say that. So that's it. Try it out. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Thanks for watching. As always, I am Tim Corey.